I've been composing music since the age of seven when some um, friends of my family gave us a piano. It had a few random missing keys at the top and I started writing pieces, of avoiding those keys. Um, but I'd write short pieces for myself to play with my friends. Um, I think my, one of my first pieces was for flute and piano. Um, and then as I was learning music, I was also composing music. They happen simultaneously and um, so I've loved composing music since a young age. Sometimes people ask, was there a moment where you knew you wanted to become a composer? Um, but when I think back on it, I don't think I had that sort of defining moment. Um, it's just always something I've loved to do since playing music, uh, composing music has been a part of that. But I do feel like I have a moment where I realise that composing music is my way, definite way of uh, expressing myself and that it really is part of my de identity, uh, which was back in 2008 um, when I received the phone call that my mother had unexpectedly passed away. Um, I immediately, I was living in New York at the time and I flew back to England and my uh, immediate place of refuge, I guess, was creating music. So I sat at the piano and um, I felt very connected to her and just writing this music just poured out of me. Um, and it's a piece called Within Her Arms, which I'm delighted the Scottish Chamber Orchestra have been playing this past season. Um, and I think in that moment, I just knew that I am a composer and this is what I'm meant to be doing. And um, that's actually a, a piece, I think it's one of my most widely performed pieces that really touches people. Um, so I think since that moment, I know that I am a composer. I studied music at Edinburgh University back in the 90s. And um, it was a wonderful opportunity because it was quite a small um, school. There was only about 18 or 20 of us in each year. So it felt very much sort of like a family in a way. Um, but it was a wonderful degree to study because it wasn't, um, I wasn't just studying cello, I wasn't just studying composition, but it was a very broad musical education. Um, we did keyboard skills, harmony, counterpoint, uh, music in the community, music technology. Um, but I think having that freedom just to be a musician in such a vibrant city um, really helped me on my path to um, ke keeping my composition going and also introducing me to electroacoustic composition. As a composer, I'm often inspired by collaborating with other artists, like filmmakers, visual artists, and especially choreographers. I love working with choreographers. And one of the things I love about it is it uh, keeps the, pro the creative process very fresh. So whoever that artist is you're collaborating with, you're sharing ideas, you're developing a piece together, and it sort of creates a different uh, window into your own creative process. And I think the result of that is that my music's very varied and it depends on the context within which I'm writing it. So if it's, for example, a ballet score, um, I might be very much inspired by a choreographer's specific uh, language through their movement, uh, creating musical gestures that might play into that. Or um, if I'm writing a purely acoustic piece, um, to really maybe think of the specific musicians. Um, and that's one of the things I'm very excited about with this residency with the Scottish Chamber Orchestra, uh, is it being three years, I have the opportunity to really get to know the individu individual musicians and the individual voices of this orchestra and to write a piece that really has that in mind. When I'm writing music, I nearly always start at the piano. For me, uh, I, that sort of physical sensation of hearing the resonance of the instrument, um, especially for orchestral music, you sort of have the span of the orchestra right there at your, your fingertips. Um, so I start, the process really starts with handwritten, melodic, rhythmic ideas, um, and then I transfer that to the computer and um, develop it there and use playback as, um, as part of my process. Um, I'm not a dancer, but I like to imagine the physicality of music. So I have um, a pair of wireless headphones, which I find incredibly helpful because I'll use the playback and I'll close my eyes and imagine that I'm dancing. Um, and if it feels sort of right to have movement, I feel like it, it, uh, it's working. I, I feel very strongly that connection between uh, music and the physicality of it. So I use that sort of to gauge the sense of the pacing of a piece, um, the rhythmic drive of a piece as well. That's very, I find that very helpful.